Hey, welcome back everybody to my good, bad, ugly series, and we are picking up with our bad choices for the Walking Dead final season, episode 2, Suffer the Children, so I appreciate you guys sticking with me, I know I'm getting this episode up much later than I normally do, but you know, there's a lot going on in personal life with schedule and studying for my CPA exam, so I'm just getting these out as soon as I'm able to, so appreciate all the support. So without further ado, let's hop right into our bad choices. Previously on The Walking Dead. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin, the leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. Felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlon stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. I attacked Marlin and made him drop the gun. I told him to leave and never come back. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlon? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. Marlon, he... he was down. You had him beat! What the fuck did you teach this kid?!
Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlon was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Look, you did the right thing. The only thing you could do. Marlon was a monster. Lewis doesn't understand that, but he will. You were justified. I was justified. What are we gonna do? Back off, all of you! It was under control! I talked Marlin down, then... He murdered my fucking friend! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Fuck you, Lewis. He's a little kid, so shut your fucking mouth. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? They better not call me a monster. They were scared of me, even though Marlon was the bad guy. I'm not scary. I wasn't... I didn't act like a monster. I stopped a monster. Hmm. The kids here haven't lived on the road. Not like we have. They don't know what real survival looks like. Well, someone should tell them. It's not my fault they don't know. I know. We're gonna try. AJ, come sit with me. We've got nothing to apologize for. You saved me and them from a monster. They'll see that. We'll make them. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? The last person who pointed a weapon at me is dead. Unless you want to join him, he'll back the fuck off. Oh, fuck you. Stop, Mitch. This isn't helping. Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. Why didn't you stop him? How can you ask me that? What you did is completely different. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you mad at all. I, I can still hear him telling me not to do it. I said I'm sorry. I still hear it sometimes. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey, Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. What are those? Drawings for Marlon and Brody. It's of stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. They don't need them. They're dead. They're not going to get that stuff. That's not why you do it. AJ's right. Marlon and Brody aren't here to appreciate your drawings. 
I guess I hoped they'd see them from wherever they are. Never mind. Have fun with your firefighter, okay? Can we play with them later? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. This is gonna suck. They're gonna say a lot of things about Marlin and Brody. Some true, some not. Let's just get through it without upsetting everybody, okay? Okay, I'll try. Ready? I did that. Come on. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do Are people have funerals? Brody and Marlin? Tin said they used to have them more. They died. It's a very old tradition, going back thousands and thousands of years. And they think it's important. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. Even monsters. That's not fair. <sighs> Lots of things aren't fair. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. After what he did to Brody, Marlin deserved exactly what he got. Yeah. I... I was justified. Clem told me. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Damn, that's... shit. That's what you told him? That what he did was... was okay? We can't. Wait. We should talk this out. Talk about what? He murdered our friend! Marlin was a threat to everybody. By killing him, AJ protected all of you. How can you all forget what Marlin did to Brody? Are you shitting me right now? See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a boat. 
majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. What? You can't just kick us out. We brought you here. That means we can get rid of you too. That is fucked up. After all Marlin did, two wrongs don't make a right. A vote's the only way to settle this or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. Marlon was bad. I tried to tell them, but they wouldn't even listen at all. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. I understand. I'm angry too. Shit, this all sucks. Shit. We'll get through it. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to show them I was right. Like you said. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize it. I didn't know how bad it would be. It's my fault they got angry. But they hate me. They don't hate you. Hmm. I think they hate us both. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. 
Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. I can't believe this. You're all fucking crazy. After everything Marlin did, all the lies he told you. This is how you react, kicking us out because we were caught up in his bullshit. Marlin dropped his weapon, and then AJ killed him. How could any of us stand to be around you after he did that? How could we trust you? So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ's in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. <laughs> don't bother. We don't want your help. So, don't think of it as help. Think of it as us making sure you really leave. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. It's mine. I need it for monsters. If I thought you were only gonna use it on monsters, I wouldn't be so worried about it. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <laughs> Alright, we didn't go to end it here. I want to thank you guys for watching part one of my bad choices, and I will try to get part two up as quick as possible. Until then, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.